Compassionate viewers, welcome to our noble lineage here on Supreme Master Television. Today we will enjoy the final segment of The Future of Education, Consciousness-Based Learning at Maharshi University and Schools. Last week we learned about how vegetarianism plays an important role in their success by uplifting the students and staff physically, mentally, and spiritually. In addition, vegetarianism is encouraged to enhance our considerate stewardship of the planet. Well, if you think about meat production, there's a lot of methane that's released, and that's definitely an attribute to global warming. And um, also, if you think about just the way that we're growing things, it's nature taking its course. Things grow, we eat them, we take it back to the earth. And I think it's like the natural way of doing things. Whereas, you, I've, I've done a lot of research on slaughterhouses, and it's, it doesn't adhere to nature whatsoever. It's, and it also increases a lot of like cruelty in society. The schools further address the care for our environment with their forward-thinking pioneering program on sustainable living. Dr. Craig Pearson, the Executive Vice President of Maharshi University of Management, explains. The most popular major right now is our Bachelor of Science program in sustainable living. It's the first program of its kind in the country it's a cross-disciplinary program that gives students the knowledge of all of the different areas that contribute to creating sustainable homes, sustainable communities, sustainable countries. It's larger than all of our other majors put together, our fastest growing major. We're so heartened that students from around the country are attracted to a program like this and educating themselves in solutions to the problems that we've created through limited understanding of um, technology that's brought our planet to the precarious position that it is today. Maharshi University houses the first certified Green Vedic Student Center in the nation. Jonathan Lippmann, architect of the Argyro Student Center, is working on constructing a new sustainable living center. The building is designed with ancient Vedic architecture and advanced energy efficiency. It features natural lighting from two sides in all rooms, insulated walls, and is being built with all natural materials. He explains to us Vedic architecture and the wide array of subjects covered by the sustainable living courses. Students learn principles of environmental design and ecology, ecological design, architectural design, biology, agronomy, and uh, multidisciplinary uh, subjects that allow them to go into the world and really make a change that even though this building is in the middle of a city, it is going to be completely off of the grid. It is going to generate all of its electricity through photovoltaic solar panels, through a wind generator. What we are doing is really trying to make a natural environment. It is on a subtle level not so helpful for people to be enclosed within synthetic materials. And we are eliminating that subtle influence on good health by building the building completely 100% of natural materials. We're in the east-facing entry lobby. Vedic architecture is really the architecture of nature, the architecture of natural law. And it takes into account the solar and lunar and planetary influences on the Earth connecting individual intelligence with cosmic intelligence, individual life with cosmic life. The single most important principle is that the sun, as it rises in the east, has the most nourishing, life-promoting, enlightenment, and good health, and good fortune-promoting qualities. And therefore, our buildings, those man-made environments that we spend 90% of our time in, should ideally face east. North also has a nourishing influence, but East promotes enlightenment, which is the most important thing. These principles, right orientation, right placement, right proportion, building of natural and non-toxic materials and energy efficiency, and being aware of the influences of our environment, are elements that, allowed us, that allow us to build new construction on the face of this earth in ways that will not violate natural law and that will create influences of health, of happiness, of family harmony, and of and growth to enlightenment on us when we live in these buildings. Besides campus buildings that facilitate the comfort of higher learning while keeping the concerns of the planet in mind, student housing also has eco-friendly innovations. 
we step outside to meet Professor Lonnie Gamble of the Sustainable Living Program, who introduces us to one of the newest neighborhood developments. Abundance Eco Village is a residential community. It's all completely solar and wind powered. All the water supply comes from rainwater catchment. Um, the houses are built to high performance design standards, so they take very little energy to heat and cool them. They stay very, very comfortable. Uh, there's food production integrated into the landscape, so we have a small farm here. You can see behind us the solar electric panels that provide the electricity along with a wind generator. They use one-tenth the energy of a conventional American home to provide those services. Energy conservation has simple solutions. These are a special kind of panel, solar hot water panel, that is an, called an evacuated tube. And there, you can see there are glass tubes here, and the glass tubes are on the outside, on the inside there's another tube that is painted black. The sun shines in there, there's a vacuum drawn between the two tubes that's, um, that, is, uh, that makes a condition like a thermos bottle. So you know if you put heat in a thermos bottle, you put hot water in there, a day later it's still hot. And it's like this, when the sun's energy comes in here, it can't get back out. And they take and pump the, uh, it, makes, it makes hot water and pumps the hot water into a tank in the basement so that you can use it when the sun's not shining or when it's nighttime. We'll be right back after this brief message to learn more about the Maharshi schools. You are watching our noble lineage here on Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our noble lineage as we find out more about how the Maharshi schools are going green eat fresh, and also um, buy local, get sustainable. We care about the environment and doing the right thing will make sure that you know we pass on to the next generation what we had. Last week we were introduced to the university's own organic greenhouses. These are often visited by the sustainable living major students as it is incorporated into the artisanal foods course. We're learning about local and organic food systems, trying to get away from industrial and uh, globalization and bringing it back to the local community level. More equality, more productivity for everyone. Everyone can grow their own food. They know where it's coming from. They know the quality of food. More people are involved. And it just raises the quality of life also. It's, it brings you closer to um, nature and everything. We are going to be cooking um, local meals every day for lunch in this class. So uh, every day we're going to take uh, local greens from within a five mile radius, make local meals. Brandon reminds us of the importance of staying in tune with our surroundings. We are on a finite planet. Our resources are finite and limited and you can't have open loops you have to have a recycled loop you just have to reduce reuse and recycle you have to mimic nature the self-sufficient practice of organic gardening is taught from an early age in the msae sustainability k-12 program sustainable living coordinator diana kristaviak tells us more the children come into the greenhouse and they learn how to grow their own vegetables and then they prepare some of the food that they grow. We teach edible landscaping. We have a uh, program that we study the weather. We, we're, we're trying to incorporate as many aspects of sustainability into our program, K through 12. As you know, there's a challenge with food transportation, rising food costs, and, um, and so we want them to know how to be self-sufficient. It's also a very, very fun thing to do, to come outside and to see that we have chard growing. They come out here and they get so excited. Some of the little children learn their math skills by measuring the growth of their plants. And the tea that you drank when you came in was grown by the children. They learn food preparation, they dry the tea. And the reason why we cover these beds is because for every covering that you put over the plants, it raises the temperature for the plants 10 degrees. So if it's 20 degrees outside, 
one covering raises um, the temperature for the plants to about 30 degrees. So I want to take you to see how we water the greenhouse. This is very important for the children to learn about because basically they're learning about water conservation. All the rain that, come, that falls on the roof of the greenhouse is caught underneath this greenhouse. The entire greenhouse has a, a, a pond-like area which then is pumped by this solar panel onto the garden beds. Most importantly, MSAE makes going green a delightful experience for students. We encourage them to come out and, and enjoy and eat. That's the reason why we, we have this area out here is for them to enjoy and also take ownership of. So the students, once they have planted a tree, if they plant it in fifth grade, when they're in 12th grade or if, when they graduate, they come back and they visit their tree. They love that tree. <laughs> and, and it's quite an endearing thing because um, they've learned how to prune the tree. They've learned, they, they've learned how to care for the, for the tree. So they have quite an intimate relationship with, with, with their plants. Consciousness-based learning at Maharshi Schools helps students develop as individuals while fostering their compassionate relationships with the world. Traditionally, a teacher would find that the students, the few students sitting in the front row of a class were the ones who really wanted to be there and really wanted to learn. And here it's as though every student is sitting in the front row. They're there because they want to learn. There's not the obstacle and confusion created by stress and confusion about choices in life that interfere with their learning. So it's a marvelous learning environment. You've gained the intelligence and the creativity and the ability to be at home in any situation and they're very successful wherever they go. Um, our students have been employed by top companies and uh, standardized surveys show that they're exceptionally satisfied with the education that they've received here. So our mission is not just to create an ideal system of higher education here in Fairfield, Iowa, but to demonstrate the applicability of this approach to any school everywhere. This mission is being realized as many schools around the world express increasing interest in incorporating similar systems as the Maharshi schools. This includes 110 schools in the New York City area, schools in Bulgaria, India, South America, and South Africa. And as more people learn through such noble methods, hope for an auspicious world shines brighter. Bringing life into harmony with natural law is really the only way that find solutions to the problems of our planet. We can create peace in the world. It's just a matter of support to bring groups together sufficiently large to create this influence for the whole human race. Thank you Maharshi University of Management and Maharshi School of Age of Enlightenment for promoting top education and values to care for and better our world. Benevolent viewers, it was a pleasure having you with us on this three-part special, The Future of Education, Consciousness-Based Learning at Maharshi University and Schools. Please stay tuned for a gift of love, simple and nutritious cooking with Supreme Master Ching Hai here on Supreme Master Television. May heaven's light illuminate your path towards wisdom and enlightenment. For more urgent details, please see www.suprememastertv.com and L.